Hello, my name is Mark. I'm Developer Advocate at Balena. On this video, I would like to show you how to create a LoRa Gateway. This LoRa Gateway will be special because it will bring the latest version of the packet forward, uh, the basics station. This gateway will work with the Raspberry Pi and the LoRa concentrators from RAC, the RAC 2245 and the RAC 2287. And it will be managed with Balena. That means that you will be able to create the first uh, LoRa Gateway, but as well, create a fleet of LoRa gateways in a really simple way. Just follow my steps. To create a LoRa gateway, my recommendation is to go to the Balena block, where we have all the instructions to follow step by step how to create this LoRa gateway. This LoRa gateway has this newest packet forward made by Semtech that it's a basic station. The basic station, it's really interesting because it brings a newest connection from the LoRa gateway and the LoRa server, in this case, we're gonna use the Things Network, uh, it will connect both with WebSockets. So that means that it's gonna be using TCP. Um, in the past, uh, the previous um, Semtech uh, packet forwarder protocol was using UDP and some percentage, about 5% of the packages were lost between the communication among the, the LoRa gateway and the the things network uh, LoRa server, for example, that made that these LoRa operators that were managing LoRa servers were creating other packet forwarders that, that were not standard. The basic station goal is to create a new standard that all, all the LoRa operators can create. In this example, we are going to use the things network. But if you follow the block that you can see here, you can see as well an example with the things industries that works automatically because the stack of the things industries accepts basic stations. If you are another LoRa operator, just contact me and I can help you to connect uh, the, this LoRa gateway basic station managed with Balena with your uh, LoRa server. Scroll a little bit, we see an introduction of what's LoRa, what's basic station, etc. We see the hardware required. Actually, we use Raspberry Pi. Uh, it works with Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, and Balena Fin. That means that it's compatible with 64 bits and 32 bits containers. And yeah, you will need as well an SD card and a USB, uh, depending if you are using Balena Fin or, or the, the, the version of the Raspberry Pi. And on concentrators, this code is compatible with the 2245 and the 2287, which are rack LoRa concentrators. For the software, you will need an account of Balena Cloud. You will need an account of the Things Network. And of course, the best uh, software to flash your SD card, the Balena Etcher. <laughs> and just as you see this blue button, Deploy with Balena, the next thing that you will need is just to click Deploy with Balena. So let's do it. By the way, you have a repository on GitHub with all the code, which is open source. So clicking this link here, you can open the GitHub repository with all the information of the, of the project. So actually you can see all the code, the deploy with Balena button and all the step-by-step -step as we can find here on the, on the blog post. Clicking the deploy with Balena, will open the Balena cloud account and will ask us if we want to install where in what application we want to install this repository of code so let's go so it says let's say ttn balena basic station as a name of the of an application if you have an application that already exists you can actually redeploy this code on this application that already exists in this case i want to start from scratch i have a raspberry pi 4 and if we toggle this uh, button the advanced we will see that the repository where we will get the code, it's the Balena Labs basic station GitHub repository, and that we will introduce some uh, device variables as the gateway GPS, the reset pin, the DC URI that is using the web sockets that connect the, the LoRa gateway with the things network, the model. In this case, I'm going to use the RAC 2245, but in case that you have uh, 2287, it's time to change it here on the model. And then the gateway ID and the gateway key that, as you're going to see, we are going to introduce later when we will uh, register the gateway on the things network console so i create i click create and deploy and this will create an application on balena cloud and as you're going to see all this code is going to be released on balena cloud and it will be all the containers will be built and released on this application so we can see here on the 
yeah, that the, that the release is being built by the builders on Balena Cloud. Okay, now it's time to get an image of the operating system of Balena so we can install this operating system on the SD card that will go in our Raspberry Pi. Okay, at this moment we will click Add Device. Add Device will open this window where we will be able to download the Balena OS that will be running over LoRa Gateway. Okay, in this case it's a Raspberry Pi, as we said. Yeah, we want to use Valina OS. We will say development, just in case, and we will introduce the Wi-Fi credentials. This is the nice part that we will introduce here, the Wi-Fi credentials. So our operating system automatically has the Wi-Fi credentials set up. So we will just introduce the SD card in our Raspberry Pi, and it will, when we will power it up, it will work automatically with our Wi-Fi. So I will introduce my Wi-Fi credentials and I will click uh, download Balena OS. All right, Balena OS is downloaded. So now it's time to use Balena Etcher. In case that you don't have it, you will need to download it. Go to the URL that you can see here. So uh, you will be able to download Balena Etcher. And Balena Etcher is just a software that enables you to burn an SD card with uh, any operating system. So you can use it later to, if you want to burn an SD card to install Ubuntu on a computer, etc. So it's very handy and it's very easy to use. So I will introduce Valina Etcher here on my on the top of my head. All right, so we are gonna flash from file. I click flash from file. I select the latest Valina OS version that I have download and I click select target. Okay, we have an SD card of eight gigs. I select it and I start flashing. Okay, in my computer, I have to put my my password and it starts the compressing then flashing and validating all right so it seems that balinacher did his, his job so now it's time to get the flash complete cool now it's time to get the sd card uh, from the sd card reader and put it on the raspberry pi and power it up let's go okay i just power up my raspberry pi introduce the sd card with the balina os and and now yeah let's close this window and now the raspberry pi will sync with my router at home with the wi-fi credentials that i introduced previously before downloading the valina os and at some moment it will appear here first thing that will happen when it will appear the valina os will create a container with a supervisor and the supervisor will manage all the applications and all the containers that will run on the top of valina os on my raspberry pi so it will, so Valena Cloud will tell to the supervisor, hey, we have a new application for you. We, we released this application. It's time that you can download it. So it will download the main application that we installed, that, that it's on the repo of uh, basic station. And here it is. It's a, we have a little waterfall, actually. So we click here. This, uh, I didn't mention pro pro uh, probably, this is a rack twenty two forty five, so I will call it rack twenty two forty five. I will rename it. And as I said you before, so we see that the supervisor is starting. It it's downloading the the latest image from the repository and so from the container that it has been built by the builders at Belena Cloud. So once this image from the these containers will get downloaded. It, the supervisor will start these containers, okay? And every time that you will deploy new images on, on this device, the, the supervisor will download these images, and once they will be downloaded properly, the supervisor will swap the, the containers. So uh, in theory, there is not uh, no, no gap between images running. It's really fast, Valena. So now it's downloading, we have 55%. Okay, let's mention another thing that it's gonna happen. So to register this uh, lower gateway to the Things Network, we need to know the UI of the gateway. Mm, yeah, it's, well, we have the MAC addresses here on the Valena Cloud, but we just try to help you. So we simplify this and we, we create an attack with the UI with eight bytes. As the MAC address, uh, the Ethernet MAC address has six bytes. There is a standard method to make it eight bytes we automatically generated this tag. So just copying the tag, we will be able to have the EUI that we will need to register on the Things Network console. 98% and it will start the gateway. All right, 
here we have okay and as I say we have a attack this one that I will copy here actually I will paste it here to show you what we copy okay it's important that at the things network console we bring only the eight bytes of the of the EUI so I will delete this and I will just copy well, I will cut this part here right now okay now it's time to go to the, the things network console all right here we are at the developer console of the, the things network we have two different possibilities to, to create uh, lower applications or lower gateways in our case we are creating a lower gateway so let's get here i have no lower gateway so i will click register a lower gateway the things network today uh it's september uh, 2020 still doesn't uh, have a basic station as a standard but it has a hack to accept basic station as a standard the, th the things industries as i told you before it accepts basic station as a standard but there is a hack as i told you before so if we click i am using a legacy packet forwarder even if it's not legacy um it will accept the basic on the basic station so here now it's time to copy i paste the gateway ui that we copied from balena cloud as i show you from the tax and i will say here right on 245 balena i'm in europe so we'll select the european and it's indoor next to me and i will click register gateway so i see that it already uh, so during this time probably the things network it already um provisioned the gateway um, but now it's time to introduce, as I showed you before, the device variables of the device. It's time to introduce the gateway ID and the gateway key into the Balena Cloud. So let's start with the gateway ID. So let's copy this. Let's go back to Balena Cloud. And let's go to device variables. Okay. So device variables, as I showed you before, we have this gateway ID that it's set up at zero. So let's click over right and introduce this value. And now let's copy the gateway key. Even it's, I will override it. Maybe you will see it, but no problem. I will delete it. Okay. So we have the gateway ID and the gateway key. Now the the device, Valena, it's always restarting the device, but it should be up and running. I have here a, a note of a, a note of Laura with a with an Arduino, TTN Arduino from the Kickstarter campaign with a sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test if this is, um, if, if we can uh, see the information from this. So I'm going to plug this Arduino to see if we can see any information. Okay, this Arduino TTN, it's sending data every 10 seconds. So just connect it. Probably it will do first, it will try to provision into a network. And after that, it will start sending data. One thing that we can do actually is we can get into traffic. It's so, okay. So we start seeing data. So it tried to co connect, it get connected, and we see the first data on the device. As I showed you before on the Things Network console, it's easy to to yeah, you can int you can introduce gateways and applications. Actually I have an application, but it's this uh Arduino TTN. And we can get into data. Okay, we see the first message arrived now. So if we click here, we see uh, yeah the payload, then the fields because I, I just made a um, payload. Uh, I, I defined the payload format so to get the data here decoded on the things network. And if we check this um, EY, it should be exactly the same. Then we have here 30E08. Actually, it's this one. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, so it works. And you see how easy it is. So in in just fifteen minutes, you can have your first uh, your first LoRa gateway. And now, if you have multiple, then it's very easy to to do it. On this video, you have seen how easy it is to create a LoRa gateway connected to the Things Network and managed by Balina. Uh, in case that you are using a Rack uh, twenty two eighty seven and not the twenty two forty five that I have been using on this video. It's simple, just go to device variables, or actually when you create the application and just on the model, click overwrite and say that you are using a2287. So it's going to use the, the LoRa library of the SAX uh, 1302, I guess it is. Uh, in, and when you do it, it will uh, use the container or it will execute as a container the code for the, for the core cell for the Rack 2287. So this is all. 
I think it's pretty straightforward. Looking forward to see Aurora Gateways deployed with Balena and the Things Network with Basic Station. And if you need anything, just ping us. Have a good day. Bye.